Hey, this is Deal Flight, and I'm coming to you from within the Spartan Craft survival realm. And this is episode eight of my tour series. Today, I'm standing in front of the Spartan Craft Claims Office. This was built by Mies Player 77 a little bit back. And um, in front of me, I have another build by Mies Player that I'm going to show you in today's episode. I dropped off a couple shulker boxes and then. Uh, Mies took the items inside and built a dragon egg monument as part of a contest that we held here on Spartancraft. And up there at the top of the claims office, right up there on the corner, I stood there and uh, filmed or recorded while he was building so that I could make this time lapse that I'm going to show you today of his dragon egg monument build. Here we go, we're started off and uh, Mies has already gotten uh, quite a bit done before I had a chance to get everything set up. Uh, but it, so he managed to build the four outer uh, pillars that kind of, I guess they represent the um, end portal frames that or the, um, the take you to the end cities uh, in the end. Um, anyway, I should tell you a little bit about the contest and what was going on there um, and how Mies won that. So on Spartan Craft, we, I had early on in our season, I'd, I'd probably the second month of the season, we had a dragon fight and it was a community fight. We actually had, I think four or five members present and um, it was a lot of fun. We had a great time and everything. And I'd always planned that one day the dragon egg would be put in Spartan Craft as kind of a monument or a visitor center or a museum, a place where people could go and uh, kind of celebrate that uh, event. And so, you know, I tried, we had a couple false starts. Uh, I tried to get it promoted, but I think, I don't know, either people were just afraid of failing or uh, I wasn't very clear about my expectations. I don't know. It, it, it could have been a number of things. But this season with the great community members, community members that we have right now, I was, uh, I was willing to take the risk again. I, I was thinking, you know, we should do this build contest. And we were, there was a little bit of a lull in, in what things in things that were going on. So I posted it on uh, our Discord and I said, hey, we're going to do a build contest. Uh, people can submit. Uh, pictures of something that they've built in the creative world that would be kind of a monument to the dragon egg and the battle in which the community overcame the dragon. Well, we got a couple um, responses from that. First, people asked, like, well, what are the limitations? And I just said, you know, it should be more like a monument that people can walk up to. I don't want some massive structure, more like a fountain or um, a small like visitor center type thing and um, any blocks were fair game I said build it however you feel uh, would be look best and then we'll try to make it work later on and we received two really good uh, proposals and they were uh, put out for a community vote and the voting was very very close it was tied all the way up until the deadline uh, with this um, this version of the Dragon Egg Monument uh, winning by one vote in the end. So you can tell it was a very even race, an even match. And uh, I, think, I think they were both good proposals. Uh, the other one would have been more like an underground, maybe a bunker type situation where you could visit. And it was more like a museum. Uh, which I also liked. It was it was really good as well. This one kind of commemorates the action of going and fighting the Ender Dragon, and you can see the um, kind of the end is represented in it. I really like how the dragon shadows are there on the ground. I guess they're kind of like bear skins a little bit. Um, and then you've got the uh, portals that take you to the end cities. Uh, but anyway, so after that, I, and Mies won the contest, I just asked him to put together a 
materials list and then I spent maybe I don't know a week I didn't really want to make the contest winner have to do anything to like gather resources although he would have been happy to do so in fact he was in the end I think he was some 10,000 blocks away from uh, the center of the end to the uh, end portal gateway so he was way out there and it took him a little while to get back but while I was waiting for him to get back I was collecting these resources for him uh, and I managed to get everything that was on his shopping list I don't know if he left anything off or uh, if everything was there but um, I did manage to gather it all for him and so when he got back there were a couple shulker boxes sitting there with all the materials so that he could get straight to work in fact he was the, I think it was the day he got back from his end journey that he was just, okay, I'm going to get started on this. I've been looking forward to building something. Um, so it was just really kind of a moment of opportunity. I decided that, hey, maybe I should take a video of this and I can time lapse it. Uh, it might be interesting to see. I've not done um, this kind of a video yet. And I mean, I've time lapsed things before, but not you know, third person like this where we're watching something being constructed. Uh, so yeah, I would have gotten the very beginning of it, except for I had to kind of prepare an area. The um, top of the claims office turns out was not uh, very well lit. So I was afraid of something spawning behind me and knocking me off uh, in the middle of the filming. People kept coming by and visiting him and, and looking at his progress as he was going. Um, and you can see he's setting up the armor stands now with the armor uh, gives it kind of that active scene in this one with the dragon head on it so three dragon heads for the for the museum piece um, and yeah I mean, it's a pretty neat setup I like it with the you know you have this small ship it kind of has a little bit of everything that represents the end and what the end is like uh, of course at the end of it he's uh, going to tie it into the landscape around, try to make it a little bit more uh, flow into it a little bit better. And uh, yeah, he, d he did a great job. And I think he even added some more things later on after the video was over to, uh, to landscape it up more. I think he put in some custom trees and things. I mean, all in all, it's a pretty good piece. And every time I walk by, I'm like, hey, that's, that's a great part of, it adds to SparkCraft. I like having uh, not everything has to be a shop or a, you know, something purely functional some things can just be you know commemorative or interesting to look at or um, yeah points of interest along the way you don't have to have everything have a, a function like be a, a farm that spits out massive amounts of sugar cane um, I actually, some of my favorite spots are the community garden and um, the wishing well even, and even the community chest. I mean, they're just, uh, it's not about making profits or anything. And uh, here's me, he's, he's finished up, and so he's taken extra dirt and stuff that was left over to the community chest, and now everybody's coming to see his work. He's posted that it's, it's done, and they're running around like ants on there. Uh, and here's a shot from top of City Hall um, showing how it fits into the landscape there. This, this is a good direction to come and see it. You can see the end ship in the background. It's not a full-size ship, but it's a pretty good ship. There's the dragon egg on the monument. Yeah, I like. I think the overall effect is pretty good. I, I think it's it's interesting to look at from every angle and tells a good story. And there's the man himself. Here we go with another flyover just to take a look at it from different angles. Thank you, Mies Player Seventy Seven, for designing this monument and making it a reality. 
I really appreciate it, and I'm so glad to have you on the realm. And as always, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like. Bye now.